How are we doing guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be continuing our series of farming legendary weapons. Where to get them, quickest ways to farm them and are they any good more importantly. So today we did the Hornet last time. There's a video up on the channel for that if you want to watch it. But today we're going to be having a look at another early game weapon. This time it is a assault rifle. Okay. So, to farm the Kablaster, you'll first have to complete, um, if they're not here, there'll be a hammerlock in the sanctuary if you haven't done the quest yet, but normally they'll be here right at the start of the game. You'll have to complete it, this town ain't big enough, where you need to kill some bullymon groups down there and down there. Turn that in, and then you'll have to complete both Bad Hair Day and Shielded Favors, and once you complete both of them, it'll unlock the farm for the Kablaster. Now, this weapon drops from Midgemong, but it also drops from... Uh, the Handsome Sorcerer. It is definitely an easier drop from Midgemong since the Handsome Sorcerer has got a boatload of drops. So, yeah, we're just going to head over to there. So, quickest way to go. I'm just going to do some rocket jumping, but obviously you can run this normally. So, you're going to head over here to the left outside of Claptrap's place. So, this fence is going to be on, but you just can either jump over it or you can shoot this if you use there. There you go. And you're going to want to head through to the Southern Shelf Bay. This is where you're going to want to save quit from. So when you save quit, you're going to spawn back at this door. And you're going to run. Probably going to be rocket jumping there. This is quite a far farm if you're going to run it normally. It takes quite a long time to get there. Um, but this is a route you're going to take. So if you're Salvador, obviously you can be rocket jumping up there, and that's what I'm going to do, just because that's the quickest way to farm it. But what you'll want to do, is you'll want to run down to this bridge. You're going to want to jump over the bridge, walk along this wire, you don't have to wait for the, uh, the barge. Go across this wire. Head over here. Flick this lever, jump over the bridge. Keep running, keep running. Ignore these guys. Ignore these guys. Run all the way down to the end. Up the stairs here. Up the stairs. And back round on yourself. And then up this set of stairs. Up the next set of stairs. And he's going to spawn out of this door here. So, farming Midgemong today, we are going to be doing the same as what we were doing for Knuckle Dragger. We're going to be using a uh, Money Shot Orphan Maker build with Salvador. We're going to put on an Auspicious Raider Com for increased Money Shot and movement speed. Deputy's Badge for the damage. Sham, because we're going to be rocket jumping over there to make it a hell of a lot quicker. Um, here's the build. Basically, just shot, Money Shot, movement speed, movement speed. That's basically what we need for this build. Um, and yeah, stick a run counter up on the screen now. Text up on the screen there. The Kablaster is a 1 in 10. Uh, same as the Hornet. I'm going to show you me farming the drop now and getting it. I showed you running over there before, but you're not going to want to run on foot for this one. You're going to want to be rocket jumping, which I will show you here the easiest way to rocket jump over here. As I fuck it up entirely. That was a fucking fail. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm not actually. I'm gonna use a berserker com for the movement speed. So rocket jumping. You're gonna run out here. Run to this edge here. One rocket jump to here. And over. And then you're just gonna. We're just gonna make our way. Up here using rocket jumps. Oh shit, didn't mean to pull up that. And this is exactly what not to do. So if you don't get there quick enough, you won't um, have your gun circle ability up again. So you'll have to wait. Yeah. 
So, we're just gonna wait around for a second. And there he is. You don't have to kill the Super Ballast Midget. The Super Ballast Midget doesn't have um, the Kablaster in his drop pool. It is only Midgemong that drops the Kablaster, so you don't need to kill this guy whatsoever. So yeah, ideally, you'll be able to make it within one gun circuit duration. And, oh my god, we got a second try as well. Okay. <laughs> we got a second try on the Hornet as well. We got this one second try. Nice. Thank god for that, because this farm can be a pain in the butt. And for some reason, my shots are not hitting that guy. Okay. Well, we got the drop, and we're going to have to run back over and get it. We've got that light there. So, there it is, the Clubback Blaster. Thank you very much. I'm just gonna save quit. There it is. The Blaster. So, if you watch my Assault Rifles tier list, you'll know that this weapon is... Yeah, not really that great, to be honest with you. <laughs> if you're doing like a pure splash damage build at Krieg or something like that, it's not bad. Um, but yeah, there it is, the Blaster. Red Tech's Torque, got more boom. Four armor per shot. Um, so yeah, I'll give it a little show for you now, show you how it is, but early game, this thing can be pretty fun for the first few like levels, but as soon as you get into any sort of later game contest, uh, any later game content, this gun really just sucks, so yeah, I'll show you, I'll put some Assault Rifle damage on, and we'll head over to, I mean, what better place than just here, really? Watch out, because it will self-damage you as well. So you've got to be careful of like that. So this is with Salvador, who can basically make any gun work. And you can just see these are regular bully monks. There, we killed ourselves. Um, these are regular bully monks, and we are struggling right now. See, it drops these trial grenades. It's a special effect of the co-blaster. You shoot, it fires a primary uh, rocket launcher, and then... It'll drop out a grenade after you fire it. So rocket hits and then it spawns a little grenade. You'll see it there. Rocket hits, little grenade, spawns out and does damage. So yeah, that's a special effect. And it just doesn't really do enough damage in the late game to, to be worth anything. Fire rate's really slow. And you can see against just regular bully monks here. Slagged up, it's just not doing any damage. I'll take it to a... Uh, there you go. We're getting a couple of kills with overkill on Salvador. We're getting a few more bit more damage but like I say there you go you're gonna end up killing yourself with this a lot as well and yeah it's successfully taken us an entire gun circuit duration and about two minutes just to kill five bully monks We're nearly gone. There we go. Another second wind. Nice. Yeah, so the Cub Blaster, it's not a great weapon. For early game, um, for just messing around on the early game levels, yeah, you can have a bit of fun with this gun. Sure thing. You can make it work. And on a splash damage build with someone like Krieger Axon, to a certain extent you can make it work because these child grenades and the bonus rocket will get splash damage. Um, but if you think of using it on OP10 on any other characters, you should really probably go find a different gun. Maybe one that looks, I don't know, similar to the uh, Cold Blaster, but comes in an effervescent rarity. You know, something like, I don't know, the Peak Opener. But we won't show you this weapon too much at the minute. We'll do a deep dive on this one. But yeah, it's basically the same weapon, but 10 times better. Okay. Alright guys, that's gonna just about do it for today. 
Um, if you do enjoy these sort of no-nonsense guide videos on how to get the weapons and what do they do, um, please feel free to check out the channel. I've got a few more of them on there and there'll be more to come. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you around. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.